This is my ThinkPad X201 tablet. And if you're watching this video, you're asking, how do I install Power Manager? Okay, so when you click on Power Manager, it says, it just won't it just won't launch it's asked it tells you this will cause problems or whatever and it won't it won't let you install so what you need to do is go into here go to this website learn.microsoft.com just go to here i'll i'll put in the i'll put in the dis link in the description and scroll down you'll, you'll see you'll be greeted with this scroll down to here d click download this and you'll get a this right here and you just click adk setup.exe just open that up uh, let me let me open it up just to show you i already installed it so I, it's not it's going to look different but instead of change it should say install or like download or whatever but just add features to, all right click the add features one click continue let it guide through guide you through uncheck everything when you get to this screen Uncheck everything except for compatibility uh, uh, application compatibility tools. You don't need anything else. All you need is this, and just click this. It's about uh, it's about like twenty two megabytes, so y y it's not gonna affect your storage that much. Uh, so afterwards, you open up. Make sure you you greeted with just search up application. Um, Uh, compatibility, what the, uh, compatibility administrator, uh, compatibility administrator, you'll be greeted with the 64-bit version and the 32-bit version. You want to make sure to do the 32-bit version. Why? Because Power Manager is 32-bit. Okay, so once you're here, you see this, you see this screen right here, click on Applications. Trying to get this through fast so that people who know what to do can just pause if they need to pause. If they don't need to pause, they don't need to sit through me. So, when you like you saw here, if it says not responding, it's not a bad thing. It just let it wait and look at that. It's perfectly fine. So you want to scroll down all the way up to Lenovo. So just go down to L, um, <coughs> L, E, um, wait. Okay, L, Lenovo, Lenovo. Uh, you see all this? Wow, 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 that's great. You wanna go to Power Manager right here. Double click that. You wanna right click setup.exe, click disable entry. This will allow you to run Power, Man Power Manager, uh, run the install and click that. Right now it says enable entry because I already disabled it so I can run it. But once you click that, just open up Power Manager. Just and uh, if you if you already tried it and installed it, it should just be uh, in your this PC. Go to local disk. Go to uh, drivers. Vista. PM. Uh, no, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Stop, stop, stop. Uh, Win seven. No, no, no. Uh, PM driver, PM driver right here. No, wait, no. Is it PM driver? No, 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 no. Which one is it? Uh, it should be somewhere here. Lenovo? No. Is this the, no. Uh, is it Vista? PM? Is it this? Click setup right here. And, uh, yep, and you should be greeted with this. Uh, so you just go to Vista PM, uh, PWM RMGRV. Sorry for that. I completely had a brain fart. Uh, but just click on the Click on the setup.exe, click on the setup, uh, follow through its instructions, it should work now. And after you're done, you, you'll see this in your toolbar. After restart, you'll see this in your toolbar. Uh, and it'll work fine. 
I mean, oh, another thing, another thing, another thing. When you run it, make sure to run it in uh, Windows 7 compatibility. Sometimes, if it doesn't work, run it, make sure to run it in Windows 7 compatibility. If it works just fine, don't need to switch it. But if it doesn't work, try that. It will help. Uh, and that's it. Thank you for watching. Hope this helped. Uh, I, there is guides online, separate guides online. If you really want to look at it, it's, it's going to be the same steps. And... Just make sure uh, that you protect your battery. These things are exp these batteries are expensive, especially for the tablet ones. They're expensive and very hard to find. So make sure you protect it. All right, bye.